Right guys, thanks for joining me. Um, you may recall that I started a Sherman build, 172nd scale Sherman, and it was a part of Shane Smith's um, Arm and Thunderbolt M4 Sherman group build. He's uh, since changed that now, and it's uh, now the Arm and Thunderbolt M4 Sherman group. So you can basically um, post uh, any builds of uh, Sherman's on there. Um, you hadn't had to have started um, for the start date of the group build itself you can you can start now and and put one on there and this was the um, the idea that I had for my group uh, for my group build entry um, <clears throat> we can see this is um, a photo of a Sherman in the Ardennes and you've got uh, infantry walking either side of it um, obviously I don't think this uh, picture is of the front line because uh, the, the, all the hatches are open practically on the on the Sherman and the uh, the crew are quite pronounced. Uh, I had to change mine slightly because I hadn't got those figures with the the soft um, padded helmets and um, also my uh, infantry figures haven't got the the long coats and so on. But to add to that, I also um, made a Etsats uh, M10 Panther. And I'll just show you the picture I took um, inspiration from for that. So you can see um, uh, a pan uh, one of the disguised panthers again in the Ardennes. And um, what I took from this was the, the damaged um, sprocket here, drive sprocket. And the, the track that's um, running off uh, down the back. I also wanted it partially embedded in an embankment. Um, now, I kind of moved away from this photo again because uh, I decided not to put snow uh, over the M10 itself because um, I quite liked the way it had turned out and I didn't want to just hide uh, everything under, under snow. So without further ado, um, I'll uh, get the diorama that I've done and we'll, we'll have a look at it. So here it is and if we uh, look at it from this side first. Um, you can see that the, the M10 um, isn't uh, covered in snow at all. There's just one thing I've got left to do on this diorama. I've got to add a, a matte coat, uh, which I do with, from a rattle can. Unfortunately, I've run out, so I can't uh, add anything further. But um, I've left a snow effect on here and on the trees. And uh, basically, then we got the, the muddy road that we saw in that uh, photograph with the Sherman. So what I'll do is I'll turn it so, so we can see the diorama as we're supposed to be looking at it from from the other side and hopefully pick up some of the from some of the details there. So there we are. Um, the Sherman, as you can see, has got that um, dazzle pattern on it uh, for, again from the photograph. And in, I mentioned earlier about uh, my infantry figures not having the long coats, but. Um, I was told that uh, not everybody was issued with long coats in the Arden uh, area, so it was fine to use these figures. And again, the crew figures, the driver and the, the commander, um, not having the um, soft padded helmet, but the, uh, the, the metal helmet, which um, again, you see in some photographs um, them wearing, so I decided to, to use them for this. I've got to admit this um, this uh, diorama was not a labour of love. It, it was just a labour, to be honest. Um, I could continue to tinker with it, um, adding things, um, but at the end of the day, I, I want to move on and uh, do something else. It's it is what it is. Um, I don't think I'm particularly good at dioramas, if if I'm honest. Um, I just can't seem to get the texturing right and and various other things and this diorama has took a long time it really has the two builds weren't particularly long but the actual creation of the base it was uh, it, it was done it's done my head in to be honest it was almost a mojo killer this was if it wasn't for some of the other builds that I've done um, I think um, I would have uh, delayed posting anything for quite a while. I'll just move the camera slightly so that we can get another angle on it. Um, if we bring it perhaps to 
around there like that. What I try to do is get some um, twigs and whatever in this um, culvert or wherever it is down here. Try to get the MTEM embedded in the in the embankment, like on the uh, on that photo. So so yeah, um, another build finished as far as I'm concerned. As I say, I've just got to give it a matte coat. Um, although you know some of it looks like it's got a wet look, which may which possibly works. I don't know. I can put this one to bed, or at least on the shelf, and uh, get cracking on something else. Anyway guys, uh, thanks ever so much for watching, thanks ever so much for your support. Uh, I do appreciate it, and um, hopefully I'll uh, catch up with you soon.